trusses are here. Here they be. Fun, fun, fun. Oh man. Well, here's our trusses. These are 24 inches tall, one and three quarter inches thick. And the longest ones are about 40 feet long. So I'm gonna start unpackaging these, separating everything out and figuring out what's first. is I guess what you could mark as day one of trust day, which is um, exciting, but it's also a little bit spooky. This is the first time I've ever set trusses, especially of this magnitude. I would say that if I were doing traditional like trusses, production grade trusses, that this would probably not be as big of a deal because it would be smaller, it would be simpler, but I had to go pick the house plan, my wife and I did, that has very complicated trusses and big trusses. So behind me, you can see here, we have four one and three quarter inch by 24 inch tall LVLs. Each one of them weighs it's probably three to 400 pounds. I've got almost 4,500 pounds of trusses in, in entirety. So we're gonna say 12 to 1,600 pounds. And then hanging off of that is gonna be, I'm gonna turn the camera around here. Hanging off of that are going to be each one of our trusses, 16 inches on center. And then just because that distance was too long, for, even for a two foot deep truss. So tomorrow when I, have some time i'll get out here and we'll start laying out where those are going to go these are our trusses our floor trusses only for the garage morning everyone i'm going to be laying out our trusses today and our floor trusses and hopefully getting up a few of them today the interesting thing is going to be trying to do this solo so it's gonna be interesting, I'll put you on time lap. But before we get started, I thought I would share some awesome dad jokes because who doesn't like a good dad joke? So, uh, first one here. How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? Anyone know? You follow the Fresh Prince. <laughs> I had some better ones pulled up. These are, these are kinda dumb. Uh, what do, what do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both Paris sites. <laughs> what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Oh, okay, never mind. I won't do that one. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing, it just waved. <laughs> All right, enough of the bad dad jokes. On to the work, bye. <laughs> Here I'm laying out where each truss goes and trying to make sure I'm very precise with it because uh, some walls up top land on the LVLs that go into this beam 
LVL, uh, go, some LVLs go perpendicular to this beam, and so it's very critical that they go in the exact position that they're called out for. So that's what we were doing. Setting LVLs is definitely not a task I'd recommend doing solo. I'm thinking I didn't have Amy until right about now. Yeah, she's over there helping me now set setting these trusses. But before that, I think I was trying to do some of this on my own until standing these up. So don't try setting one and three quarter by 24 inch tall by 40 feet long trusses. I'm sorry, LVLs on your own. Each time we moved one of these LVLs or one of the trusses, we got a little bit smarter with how to move things easier, use less energy. And so if I knew then what I know now, this would be a lot easier. But I mean, I guess that's why you have experience and things go better and faster. So this was some experience for me learned, but it's uh, nobody got hurt and that is key. These are LVLs that dictate, well, they support some smaller LVLs that go in between the stairwell that you'll see here in an upcoming video. These are the brackets that hold the trusses and man, there were 80 nails in each truss bracket. All right, well, this is exciting. This is our first actual floor truss that's going up. Obviously, we've got all of these beams that we've been working on and that's taken forever. But now we've got this first um, floor truss. It's a small one. I'm starting small by myself here. Figured I'd start on this short, easy one that I can lift and maneuver. So take a look as we get it up. All right. After doing a lot of this section here, even by myself, at least they're smaller trusses, I would never recommend doing trusses solo. It just makes sense to have a second person. I've seen other YouTubers, uh, YouTube framers that set trusses solo, but they, they usually have a helper, at least cutting blocks and stuff like that for them. I definitely think that having a second pair of hands and a person cutting blocks, a person helping just keep an eye out on things is absolutely essential. And be smart people. Um, I would not necessarily recommend the things that I've done here being done solo. Just, I don't think it's necessarily the safest thing to do.
All right, well, it's the end of week one here, and we are looking pretty good. You can kind of see here, this is like the stairwell area. So the stairs will come up here and then end somewhere, that LVL, the, it'll end somewhere in that vicinity. So anyway, that's it. Bye. Another day. Got nice, pretty skies out there. All right, so I'm up top here on the second story, and what we've got is um, I finished the trusses over there. I had to modify one truss here and um, got that approved from the truss company. I am not the most stable up on top here. Well, I'm stable, but just not the most comfortable. Then all I'm going to start laying out uh, subfloor after that. So we're getting there. So we got our telehandler here with our jib attachment and um, forklift attachment behind it. We'll be starting to, I'm hoping to lift up these trusses today. This is where a high lack of experience enters the equation for me here. As you can see, I'm struggling with this. I can't get the trusses to do what I want. And I spoke with a friend from church who drives, operates a crane, and he told me what to do. So what I ended up doing later on after this, I went home and did a lot of research and I also talked to him and what i did was i had a rope on one end and i brought it into the cab of the telehandler so that i could direct it even if nobody else was there that made all the difference in the world and for the most part it was safe for the most part uh, in another video i unfortunately was not recording but in another video i did have an issue with a truss and I'll explain that in the other video. All right, now what we're doing this moment is we're putting in these strong backs. So I've got one up here, I've got one in the middle, and then I have another one over here. They want them every 10 feet, <clears throat> and I have them probably every about eight feet. And then we've got two LVLs on the exterior of the house that are 24 inches tall. Stand by, I'll let you know what we're doing. All right, well, it is the end of a good day. We were able to get the rest of our floor trusses up on the garage, as well as the LVLs on the exterior of the house. So this is what it looks like. All the trusses are up, blocked off, strapped off with the strong backs on the inside here, which I mentioned earlier. We've got all our floor trusses done for the second story. 100% up. So tomorrow, I'm gonna probably throw up some uh, of the subfloor material and start laying out 
that stuff. Check it out for now. Bye. All right, well, we're up here starting subfloor. We got three sheets down so far. And we've only got 25 more to go up here before we're done. But it's going well.